Hey everyone, welcome back to new video. And in this video, we're gonna discuss type safe navigation in Compose multi-platform projects. So let's get started. First thing first, go to your project Gradle lip source and toml file. We need to add dependency. One is for the serialization dependency, and one is for navigation. And at the bottom, add Cortinex serialization plugin. After that, open up your Compose app build.gradle.kts on the top add plugin for your Cortinex serialization scroll down in the common main dependencies add your serialization dependency and your navigation dependency okay after that open your source common main kotlin app.kt and in this i'm gonna use type safe navigation so first thing first i need to create composable screens so first composable name is auth screen we need to pass modifier in this initial value is modifier and also will transfer a click event to my parent composable now in this we have a column and in this column i'm using modifier fill max size its vertical arrangement is on the center and its horizontal alignment is on the horizontal center horizontal and in this we have a very basic text that says authentication screen just below to it we have a button and I'm using on click in this trading lambda I'm gonna update my button UI it says go to dashboard okay so that's it for my authentication screen similarly I'm gonna just duplicate this thing and create a new screen and the new screen name is dashboard screen okay parameter is pretty much same over here i'm gonna call this dashboard screen and when user click the button we are going to navigate from dashboard screen to the second dashboard screen so just duplicate this thing one more time and call it dashboard 2 similarly over here and now when user click on the dashboard 2 screen button will simply pop this screen from our back stack so pop this screen all right so we have three screen one is authentication screen then dashboard screen and the dashboard 2 screen okay and make sure to just change this thing from go to dashboard to go to dashboard 2 okay so now we will use our navigation so first we'll create nav host controller with the help of remember nav host controller so using this navigation host controller we will navigate from one screen to another screen so basically it control your navigation next we have a container and the container name is navigation host that host your navigation stuffs and in this we'll pass our nav host controller and the start destination so the first screen when your application composable start rendering in the user device for the timing we didn't create any kind of destination for my screen so let's create that thing steel interface name is destination and in this i'm gonna use serializable import the serializable and just below to it i'm going to create my data object first for my authentication again i'm going to use serializable data object for my dashboard similarly i'm going to create one more serializable for my dashboard too so dashboard to destination and make sure to use serializable because under the hood your type safe navigation uses serializable to serialize and deserialize your screen routes okay scroll down now we gonna use composable okay so first we need to pass this start destination so destination i want to use authentication for the first time and now composable is available in this composable i'm gonna mention my authentication destination and if it is the case i'm gonna use authentication screen and in this authentication screen i'm gonna pass modifier fill max size and when user click to my button we want to navigate from this screen to my dashboard screen so i'm using nav host controller navigate use my destination dashboard okay now i want to register all of my composables so next composable is my dashboard composable and in this i'm gonna use my dashboard screen pass my modifier fill max size and when user click on it i'm gonna use navos controller perform navigation from dashboard to 
okay so now it's time to register my dashboard to composable so destination dashboard 2 if it is happened we will simply render my dashboard screen to simply pass modifier and this time when user click on it i'm using navhost controller and pop this screen from my back stack all right so we are pretty much done with the basic setup of type safe navigation now i'm going to execute this application in my android device okay so go to dashboard we will eventually go to the dashboard 2 just click on it again we will go to the dashboard 2 so basically i think i did a very small mistake so as you can see we will navigate from authentication to dashboard then dashboard to dashboard 2 now if you just scroll down i'm using here dashboard 2 this is wrong i mean the dashboard screen now scroll down just use dashboard 2 screen over here and over here you can use pop this dashboard 2 screen okay re-execute it this doesn't make any big change but in order to understand the steps it will be helpful so now i'm in the dashboard screen and when i click to go to the dashboard it will navigate to the dashboard 2 okay so this is my dashboard 2 screen and when i click on it it simply pop that screen from my back stack and now we are seeing my dashboard screen all right so now we want to pass argument from this dashboard screen to my dashboard 2 screen so in order to pass argument so basically first we will pass primitive data types like a string float a double these kind of data types so if you want to pass an argument of primitive data type what we need to do we need to mention that thing in my targeted destination so we are targeting dashboard 2 we want to pass information from dashboard screen to dashboard 2 screen so this is my target and in this target i'm going to introduce an argument naming id just change this from object to class okay now scroll down in your dashboard we are performing navigation over here just pass the id so let's say 12 and over here we simply extract that argument from my back stack entry so id it dot to a route mention the destination type so destination dot dashboard 2 this is my targeted route and in this we have id simply pass this id in your dashboard to screen so if you want to pass this information we need to add this thing and at the end over here i'm gonna simply show it okay execute it okay this is my dashboard screen and when i click on it as you can see dashboard 2 screen and my id is 12 so successfully we are passing argument from my dashboard screen to dashboard 2 screen so this is how you can pass primitive data type arguments now we are going to pass custom data types object so we have here data class and data class name is dummy we have id in it and also we have name in it now i want to pass this as an argument from my dashboard screen to my dashboard 2 screen so for that as i told you in our targeted destination we need to add this okay so dummy is non serializable so make sure to use here serializable okay scroll down over here we need to pass a dummy and in this dummy we have id 12 and we have name which is my name remove the previous argument okay so now over here we are retrieving dummy and this dummy has id in it execute it all right so our application is crashing this is because uh, we have to define the navigation type our navigation system only knows about the primitive data types it doesn't know about the custom data objects type so we have to explicitly tell him that this is my navigation type when you receive dummy kind of argument you will simply map this thing to my custom navigation type that i will provide you but in order to create navigation type we need to use parse label and parse label is something which is highly optimized for android targets so this is not available for other target as in compose multi-platform we are trying to target android ios and desktop and parse label is not available for other target so instead of using parse label we'll stringify this dummy and pass this string dummy from dashboard screen to my dashboard 2 screen and this will work so let me show you just scroll up 
over here instead of calling this thing dummy just use here string scroll down over here in my dashboard i want to stringify this dummy so just cut this thing create a variable and the variable name is dummy string i'm using here json import this json make sure this json is coming from your kotlin xila json json and in this we have in code to string just pass your dummy and in this you can pass your dummy string and over here you can simply retrieve it so this is a type of string and again we will we will use my json decode from string and my type is dummy in this smaller bracket you can simply pass your dummy string and it will convert that dummy string into a type dummy and after that you can use it so id dot id just execute it so i'm in the authentication screen right now i'm on my dashboard screen and when i click on it as you can see uh, we are getting 12 so by using this approach you can pass your custom data objects very easily for the time being parse label is not available for all the target parse label is built only for android and due to that reason we are not able to use parse label to parcelize our data class objects okay so we saw how to pass argument primitive data type and non primitive data types now it's a very good time to see nested navigation so for the time being we are using only one navigation graph as you can see over here which is present in my navigation host now i want to create small small nested navigation subgraph that contains only few destination information that contains only few composable information so if you want to create nested navigation subgraph so first thing first we need to create few more destination that points toward my nested navigation subgraph so let me just create few destination and after that i will explain you so we have serializable data object we have authentication root uses my destination next we have one more serializable data object this time i'm gonna call it dashboard root type is destination okay scroll down so basically we have two feature in here we have authentication feature we have dashboard feature and i'm going to encapsulate this authentication in my authentication nested navigation subgraph and this dashboard will be encapsulated in another nested navigation subgraph which contains all of the information related to my dashboard so first let me do that thing for my authentication so for that we'll use a navigation so navigation is a extension over navgraph builder we'll use navigation to create small navigation subgraph and in this navigation we have to mention its destination which is authentication root because it contains graph the graph contains a lot of composable so we have to specify the start destination too so start destination is nothing but my authentication so cut this thing paste in here similarly for the dashboard i'm using navigation we specify the destination of my nested navigation which is dashboard root and within this we will specify the star destination which is dest dot dashboard all right so in this i'm gonna put all of my dashboard things so now we have two nested navigation subgraph so this is my dashboard nested navigation graph and this is my authentication nested navigation graph and one more thing in the start destination this time i want to start my journey with authentication route which will simply render my nested navigation for authentication and in this my start destination is authentication so eventually it will render authentication screen all right so i hope you got the clear idea how you can create nested navigation graphs just re-execute our application okay so as you can see this is my authentication screen uh, when i click to the go to dashboard will navigate to the dashboard screen and when i click on it will navigate to the second dashboard screen so this is how you can use nested navigation in your compose multi-platform projects so now i'm gonna execute this thing in my ios platform you can see this is my I iphone and this is my desktop so when i click on it we will go to the dashboard screen when i click on it go to my second dashboard screen and when i click on it it simply pop that is screen from my backer stack similarly for a desktop i am in the dashboard screen i in my dashboard to screen and when i click on it it will simply pop that screen from my back stack and 
I am currently seeing dashboard screen. So this is the way using which you can perform type safe navigation in your Compose multi-platform projects. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.